Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of World of Tank Wednesdays. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series, uh, I love playing World of Tank so it's quite nice to be uploading it really. So um, this is one of my good games I got from, I think the other week it was, uh, I've got higher tiers than an IS but um, by far it's one of my most favourite tanks. Uh, for the matchmaking you get and all that sort of stuff it just really does well and you usually are quite able to dominate with the tank if you play it correctly. Um, so anyway, when I'm playing on this map, I always like to play this side. So I get here and I can see there's a, quite a few guys on the map that's already been spotted. So I'm thinking, all right, I need to, I need to angle myself to be able to poke around this corner to help out these, um, this uh, comet around the side here. If he's going to pull back and hopefully draw him around, I'll be able to shoot him in the ass and all that good stuff. So I'm just waiting, looking at the map. And they're sort of back out because I see this T25 over there and this KV-1S, but then I realise they're behind the wall. But then, BAM! The arse of a KV-1S. So I shoot him right in the arsehole. And, um, they start to cap the base, which I'm a little bit worried about because, um, I know I've only got a scout, but I finally have a KV-1S that decides for some weird reason just to rush a KV-1 and an IS uh, on their team. So he dies and isn't really much help. But then this uh, SU-125 makes a bit of a silly mistake and just tries to rush for the IS-2. That leaves me his arse, so I just pretty much pen him quite easily. And I see him he's a threat to the uh, IS-2, so I quickly take him out. But this IS-2 is only left on 87 health. And as you can see on the map, there's quite a few enemies around and it's just me and him defending this side and then all of a sudden it's just me defending this side so I've got this IS poking around to try and shoot me so I just track him because I know if I go out any further he'll be able to see the front of my tank and he'll be able to pen me so I bounce his first shot and I'm getting aimed in ready on his lower pate and bam there's 350 damn done but then he decides to make a bit of a rush move and I'm not angled obviously for him to come around like that so he can pen me quite easily. And then that scout, I was just, it was just going to annoy me so I had to kill him really. So there was a bit dodgy move because um, I showed my front plate to him which he could have penned if he uh, had taken a little second to um, look at it. But um, I quickly moved like that just so I could angle myself so I could bounce me again. So as you notice, I keep looking around just because um, I'm a little bit worried because as you can see, I'm the only one defending the left side of the map. All my other team has moved round, as it were, with flanking. So um, there you can see I da pen the IS again and he only bounces me. It's because I'm angled and he's not. But then I'm thinking, shit, there's a KV-1S, T25 and a IS. So I start backing off because I know this... Uh, KV-1S can um, pen me but then this IS rushes me I shoot him straight in the front track where it's quite a weak spot and I set him on fire luckily so I uh, not only put him down quite a fair bit I also put him on fire to finish him off and I got this T25 I think hmm, he's gonna be a bit of a pain so while these KV-1S's aren't round here I'll quickly finish him off so there we go and I'm thinking, shit, I've got two KV-1S's. These can both pen me. Like, if they work together, they can both really take me out. And as me, I think, shit, what was that? I see the arty you've been spotted on the map. Bam, he's out. That arty must have been wanting a lucky kill, really, since um, it was quite risky, since we've got quite a few guys left. And, um, yeah, so I've reloaded. Quickly shoot him there. Quickly moving myself to angle again. He misses, luckily. Anyway, where he would have shot me, I was angled. So I think him, right, he's the lowest one on health wise. So I'm going to quickly go and pick him off. So, bam, he goes. I also remembering that these have a 15 to 13 minimum second reload. Because they've both had the good guns. So I'm just looking, he's distracted, and bam, and fire for the win. So, second fire of the game, which is uh, quite good. So, as you can see, it leaves me one off my Radley Walters. Uh, 4,200 I think that is damage and um, me on my own defended the left side so as you can see it was quite a good game for my first game of the day um, I managed to destroy every tank I spotted 
which was quite cool and as you can see I did 4200 damage and got the most damage and most XP on both teams. So I hope you enjoyed the video and all of you have a nice day.